My name is Bill Koff and I'm with Woodstock Ace Hardware. Today we're going to be taking out a broken screw with an easy out. But before you start any project like this, you should always wear safety glasses or some type of eye protection. So what has happened is I've attempted to extract a screw from a nut and the head rounded off and we can no longer get the screwdriver to do its job. So you cut the screw off and grind it flat or file it flat, okay? Because you need a flat surface to start from. You take a center punch, and this is to prevent the drill, because we're eventually going to drill this, from walking all around the surface and maybe hitting the threads in the piece you're taking it out of, okay? So you center punch the piece. Center punches basically only come one size. Okay, um, and you uh, want to make sure that when you center punch it, you center punch it in the center of the piece so that you're staying away from the edges of the bolt or whatever you're extracting. So after we've done that, we're going to drill out the bolt or screw, okay, to get a hole through it. making sure you stay in the center. Because if you go to the side of the piece, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, mess up the threads so you'll never get it out, okay? Once you have a hole in it, this is called an easy out. The easy out is predicated upon the size of the piece you wanna extract. They come in probably six different sizes, all right? You can take anything out from a little machine screw all the way up to an exhaust manifold bolt. And these flutes are in reverse twist, so they revolve to the left. They also bite to the left, okay? This is a tap handle, okay? So you insert that into the hole, okay? and start to turn it to the left. All the while, the flutes on the easy out is biting into the piece of metal, and it's also turning it out. And as you can see, I'm turning it to the left, and the screw is backing out of the piece. Keep turning it, and we have extracted the broken screw.